Today we're going to have a little look at the Kodiak Solar Post lights. We'll have a look at what's in the box and how the lights work. On opening the box you discover two lights. This is a pair of lights in this box, both covered in a plastic bag for protection in transit. I'll only be looking at one light for the purpose of this um, because they are identical. And then you have a rather substantial spike also in the box um, for mounting the light into soft ground um, like your borders or turf. This light can also be mounted into um, hard standing uh, such as your deck or concrete also and I'll show you how to do that later. The light body itself measures ground to top 44 and a half centimetres. The base of the light is 25 centimetres, the diffuser is 15 and the top itself is 4 centimetres. Separating these sections and taking, looking at each one individually. The base has a plastic um, section in the bottom which um, allows you to mount this to the ground. I will show you how to remove that now. Simply put the spike into the bottom of the light, give it a gentle wiggle to release it, and then pull the base free. Once the base has been removed, it can then be pushed down onto the floor and there's a hole in the top here where you can screw down into your deck. I'll set this piece now to one side and we'll look at the diffuser. The diffuser simply comes away from the top. In the base of the diffuser you have a reflector plate which is used to enhance the light further. The final but most important part is the, the top. The top houses the solar panel, the super bright LED and the power saving switch. The power saving switch shows this is part of the power saving range that the Solar Centre offer. This is an, a range whereby you can have two lighting modes, um, a bright mode for full performance in ideal solar locations in summer, or you can slightly reduce the brightness for prolonged runtime in poor solar locations or for winter performance. We'll look at the difference between those two later. The Kodiak also comes with something which we call edge technology. This is an option where you can simply double the solar panel by twisting and flipping the panel open to reveal a double solar surface area. This generates more energy into the enclosed batteries which can be found under this plastic section and can be accessed via these four screws. This gives you more energy to use which allows the light to be brighter for longer. Optimum positioning of the solar panel can be achieved also by just angling the solar panel should the um, location require. We're now going to have a little look um, at the brightness of the light and we'll look at it inside the diffuser to get an idea of what it looks like. We'll look at the power saving mo mode first. put my hand over the light to simulate darkness and you can see the brightness of the light in the power saving mode. And this is the brightness in the full summer mode. As you can see there's very little difference between the two but in the power saving mode you will get over double the runtime. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it's proved helpful to you.